Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello farmers and welcome back to Mercury Farms. We're over here where the house used to be behind us. Uh, this small little field. One of the first fields we kind of bought here at Mercury Farms really. Um, and we're planting canola. We're using our T8. Still kind of the, uh, sorry, soybean field. I was going to say canola field. I got canola in the mind because that's what we're planting. But our soybean field is ready for harvest but the price is still going up. So I mean, I could start harvesting it now, which we're going to just in a minute. But I figure I go ahead and get this field seeded uh, because it's just sitting here. And I had, I said, it's not going to take too long. So we'll just go ahead and plant something in it. And it took a while to debate what to put in here. And I was going to put some more barley down. But I'm like, yeah, I think I'm done with cereal crop for one round because, you know, I just pretty much picked up all the straw just recently so I was like eh, I don't feel like doing that anytime soon so I thought canola would be a good one to put down our case puma is weeding the livestock market field full of sunflowers which they just hit the I think the last growth stage I think they're in no second to last growth stage they're in the middle uh, second growth stage uh, yeah so uh, he's weeding that I think he's about halfway done I did take the Volvo truck and been taking trips from the BGA to the livestock market digestive storage tank. And I think I got about 230,000 liters of digestate in there. We are just about out of digestate at the BGA. And uh, yeah, so until I can bring more manure and I really don't have much slurry. I got like 30,000 liters of slurry from the cows. That's it because I sold so much at the BGA. Uh, I do still have like 170,000 liters of manure I could bring to the BGA, which slowly but surely I'm trying to. I go back to the uh, the cow pasture as often as I can and jump in the belt so the belt turns on and uh, fills up the trailer slowly but surely. But I need that trailer soon because, we're, like I said, we're going to be doing the soybeans pretty soon. And this episode, I'm hoping... Uh, yeah, we got it. We we need another sixty thousand dollars now. Uh, I want six hundred grand to head back to the Pacific Northwest with, transfer in that bank account, so I can go ahead and purchase another field. Uh, I'm not sure what field I want to purchase yet, but the fields I was looking at on the Pacific Northwest before I left, I think some of the the couple fields I looked at were like five hundred and thirty, five hundred eighty thousand in that price range. And so, by buying another field there, uh, that's definitely going to help us make more money on that on that farm. And of course, the money we make there help pays off the loan. This farm here, for the time being, is going to help us buy more land on that farm. But I, like I've, I think I've said it before, there's going to come a time when uh, this farm is going to go up for sale. Uh, I'm going to say, when I'm, well, I'm going to say soon, I mean, it could be just a couple more weeks, and when I mean a couple more weeks, I mean real-time weeks, um, maybe two to four weeks, somewhere in there, which means probably just like another six to ten episodes after this one, and uh, yeah, we'll be selling this farm, and when I sell this farm, that money that we get from this farm, I think I'll just take whatever we get for this farm. And go ahead and just pay off the loan on the Pacific Northwest. Well, I mean, not pay off the loan, but put towards the loan on the Pacific Northwest instead of buying fields. Because uh, that will definitely, definitely bring down the uh, loan payment at night. Which will just make things so much better. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the plan here. So like I said, I got about maybe 10 more episodes here on Mercury Farms, I think. Um... That is subject to change. So I'm putting out some feelers around here telling people uh, what you see here, everything is being sold as one. Um, I'm not going to sell it individually. I just want to sell everything as one. But with that being said, we still got, like I said, about 10 episodes or so left here. 
plenty of time to make enough cash. Plenty of time for that to happen. Uh, hitting too many buttons with my fat fingers. There we go. Uh, so this field is planted. And I definitely want to get to harvesting because it is 4.30 in the afternoon. So, yeah, it's going to take a while to harvest that field. Um, but I need my trailer. And I'm trying to think, oh, my truck is up. Yeah, my truck is up at the animal farm. He was loading up the cow slurry to bring to the BGA. But that's when I realized I don't have much slurry left. The field to our right, the tree field, that needs some lime put into it. And uh, after we lime it, that's when I'll figure out what to plant in it. But the main focus here today is definitely get that soybean field harvested and sold. So I can be comfortable in knowing when I get to the Pacific Northwest, I got the cash to go ahead and buy the field that we need. Uh, do I need this tractor for anything? I don't think so. It's basically just a harvester and the Volvo truck in the trailer. So you can go ahead and park in there. Uh, let me just see, where are we? Uh, looks like the price finally stopped, uh, but still, nine, 9.23. I like the garden center, it's not far. Uh, the case Puma, yeah, he's getting along just fine. I mean, look at that, I mean, he's just about done. Uh, the other sunflower field, field I need to weed out is here. Uh, we got wheat to harvest here. We just planted that one. Um, of course, this one is fallow right now. Needs lime. And, of course, our corn field up there. Uh, but, like I said, our focus here today is on the soybeans. Um, I'll keep putting out the corn <laughs> probably again one more time, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. See how today goes. Uh, nice camera angle at the back of the wall. Let's get the masher out. Uh, uh, I think I, I repaired... Yeah, I repaired the header last time, so the header should be good to go. Yeah, even the harvester is repaired. Yep, so I probably did. Uh, that's too sharp of an angle for that to hitch up. Now let me go ahead and fold the harvester. There we go. And also, like I said, I would like to, once I know we got enough cash, is to uh, damage some crops there. Not much. Um, start saving up to buy a few more cows. Well, I mean a few more. I could be talking about 40 more cows. Uh, do I dare? Um... I mean, that's almost like 100 grand worth of cows, but I think we can get that much money from them just by selling their milk. Okay, what I would like to do here is get a headland done, but this is a pretty big field. And it is soybean, so the yield's going to be kind of low, so I might get a headland done. But uh, once I get a headland done, I can put them on a worker, and then I can go on up and grab our Volvo truck. And our trailer, which is going to have manure into it. I'm going to have to go up there and sell that to BGA. And then we need to come down here and give the trailer a good wash. Because, I mean, obviously you don't want to be putting crop into a trailer. Just had cow manure in there. But everything's looking good here. Uh, like I said, I, when we do that cornfield up there to make more chaff. Um, that might be the last time I have to make chaff here. So, I'm thinking uh, we'll put the sugar beets up there, but obviously i got to turn that field over. I would really like to do that chaff today so I can compact it. So, when I leave for the Pacific Northwest tomorrow, um, that chaff will be compacted and fermenting. And when we come back, we'll have, I'm going to guess, around 1.4 million liters of silage which should be more than enough to feed the cows with Tomex rations for a while. And uh, depending on how much we need, I can start selling some some of that at the BGA and bringing in some money by doing that. Yeah, it looks like I'll be able to get a headland done, but I'm not going to have much time from getting the headland done. And when I hire a worker, he's going to be probably three quarters full. 
if not more. So I'll have to make, I mean, we'll, we'll go as fast as we can to bring the trailer up to the BGA, uh, dump off that manure, give it, up, like I said, a wash, and get back down here and unload the harvester. And then once I bring the trailer down here, I can take over. Or if, unless the case Puma is done, then what I may do is leave him out of work. We'll take the case Puma and we'll go weed the field uh, down below here. That small sunflower field that we have. Um, the sunflowers could actually be, re be ready tomorrow, but obviously um, that's going to have to wait until I come back from the northwest. But uh, just think when I do come back, we'll have those sunflowers to harvest and I really don't know I don't do not know what to expect from a yield off that field with sunflowers but we do know I can get somewhere on, on a good day eleven hundred dollars from sunflowers so I mean that would be just fantastic if we can get a good yield off that field bring us in a lot of cash And part of me says, put sunflowers in it again. Uh, yeah. I, I, crop rotation. I want to get my, my mind set in crop rotation. Um, like I said, the main reason why we will be selling this farm is, well, this is actually episode 80 <laughs> on Mercury Farms, which, you know, I've, I've loved my time here. Um, but I'm hoping in a couple weeks' time, the map I want to play Seasons on will be out. Ah, this field needs lime. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's why, you know, a map's got to go. And like I said, we're on episode 80 here. So, we've been here long enough. And at some point, you got to move on. I wish that belt would just stay active all the time to load that manure. But uh, it is what it is. And when I get close enough to the belt, it activates. Uh, don't be over 50,000 liters. Because the BGA only takes 50,000 liters <laughs> at a time. Alright, uh, on up to the BGA. I'm going to sell this manure. Head back to the main farm. Uh, wash up the trailer. And if you're wondering why it's pink, uh, apparently you didn't watch my previous episodes. Uh, but it's pink because the big livestock market field had sugar beet into it. So we repainted the trailer pink. End of story. That's all the info you need. Um, yeah, so give me a few moments to take care of the situation and our harvester is just about full. Well, no more pink trailer. I think that's gray-ish. Uh, it matches the tires, the rims, I do believe. But uh, we are giving a good wash. I mean, I'm washing the outside, not the inside, but uh, it's the effort that counts. Uh, the truck, yeah, we got the truck needs to be washed. Uh, you can't have a Volvo truck looking like that. Come on. There she goes. Clean enough. Can I not, not get stuck in a wall? There we go. Yeah, our harvester has been full for a while. Um, where is our harvester? Oh, right there. Okay. Uh, we'll come on down here. I should be able to sneak through here steady as she goes and our case Puma has finished his job or her job but you go ahead and unload there we'll even be I was checking the milk prices hopefully you know if we really get lucky uh, later on to today or first thing in the morning who knows maybe just maybe the milk prices will be perfect tomorrow as well So you, all, you may be thinking as well, is why would I go ahead and buy more cows if I plan on selling the farm within a couple weeks? Because I won't make my money back on it. Well, when I sell the farm, the cows are part of the farm. So, the, you know, even if the cows don't produce as much milk, uh, the cows do, do add value to the farm. So... It will pay off in a way. I'm, I may lose just a little bit of cash, but I don't think so. For, for the amount of milk they're going to produce. And plus it's going to also up the reproduction rate. So I'll get more calves or cows 
as well. So I think we'll be fine. Um, doing this right here probably isn't worth it. There's a small strip of weeds here at the end of the field. Uh, right now it's just costing me maintenance fees on the weeder and the tractor and some diesel and def fuel. Which, speaking of the def fuel, we've been running that for a while. And really, you don't go through the def fuel... Well, I don't want to say hardly at all, but... <laughs> I think I filled up this case Puma at least once since I did death fuel and I still got what 47% death fuel in here. I may not even have to even buy death fuel while we're on Mercury Farms. I, I mean it doesn't look like it. And I still haven't had a chance. I think it was about maybe three weeks ago. I was trying to make the diesel pumps do death fuel and diesel fuel. And uh, I really haven't had any time whatsoever to try to make that mod work at all. I've been so busy with other things. As a matter of fact, the previous videos that you saw, I pretty much bulk recorded a lot of that because I was gone. I just really, this is my first day back. I was gone for like four days, so I had a lot of pre recorded stuff. Uh, actually, I could have taken... Yeah, what am I doing? I'm going to the wrong... Wrong road. The field I need to get to is just right on the other side here. Oh, look at that. Great demand at sealed milk. Well, it's got to be for milk. Okay, so it's still not the extreme best price I've ever seen. Like over 1500 I mean, it was at 13 something, it's now at 1448. <sighs> I mean, um, hmm. sometimes the great demand price will always, some, it will slowly increase if you don't bring nothing to them, I think. Uh, that might be just me, you know, wishful thinking. So I may hold off on bringing the sealed milk tonight. Um,. I mean, if I wait another, let's see, it's 6 o'clock now. I mean, great demand sometimes do last longer than 12 hours. So, I think I think we're going to risk it and try. I mean, like I said, I, not until it gets above 1,500. So, 14 something is not a fabulous price here, but it's not that bad either. It's close enough. I think this weeder probably needs to be maintained a little bit. This field here, though, I will say when I was trying to fertilize it earlier. Um, for me, that's a while ago. For you, that I, I don't remember what the episode it was, but it took me... You know, it was hard to fertilize this field. I kept missing tiny little spots here and there. We'll see how we do with the weeding part. This ought to be interesting. Well, I'm somewhere in the middle of the field, and right now I'm just, I'm just guessing. Uh, I mean, I can see weeds in some areas, but to know if I'm actually getting the field the way I should, um, I don't know. Our harvester is just about full once again. Actually, I can see a whole bunch right there that I just missed for weeds. Right ahead of us. We'd be gone. Um, let's see how this looks. Uh, nope, missed some right there. To our left. Somewhere in here. I think it's almost the same spot where I had a hard time fertilizing as well. Alright, so how, how does that look? Um, that's good. There's a small piece right there. We're going to call that good because our harvester is patiently waiting for us to go over and unload it. I'm going to bring this into here. I'm going to wash our case Puma in the weeder. And I'll take care of that in just a while. Let me go over here and take care of... No, that's uh, all wrong buttons here. Um, I want to do this. Uh, there we go. 
uh, wow, second time in a row our harvester is actually facing the correct way for us to unload it. Um, yeah, we got about just another hour of daylight left. So it looks like I'll be working just a little bit into the evening hours. Uh, but it'll be worth it because we'll have a good amount of money from the soybeans. So I'm going to get the, well, the worker's going to harvest a little bit. I'm going to take care of some things around here. And I'm going to hop on to the harvester myself. Harvest the rest of it. I'll bring you back uh, when we're just about done harvesting. And uh, yeah, we'll go sell some soybeans and make some more cash. Well, I lied to you. I'm not harvesting. I'm spreading lime. I thought to myself, I really don't feel like harvesting right now. And the workers seem to be enjoying himself harvesting the soybeans. So I thought, I really feel like grabbing our, our deuce fire and uh, heading over here and spreading some lime. Uh, that way this field is ready to go for some seeding when I get a chance to. Uh, which could be tomorrow morning. I may do a headland and set the T8 off on a worker while uh, we do some chaff work maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, that's my, that's my plan for now anyways. Uh, yep, yeah, my harvester is just about full. Make sure I get these little corner pieces here. It's just lime. Lime is not that expensive. I really don't need to be getting every tiny little piece, but if I don't, my OCD will just go nuts on me, and uh, I'll be looking at maps later on. I'm like, why is there a piece? You know, with lime and plowing, it's like you'll see that marker there for a while because you don't do it every time. Uh, weed weeds like I left in the other field that doesn't bother me too much because it's only there for like a little while until you harvest and it's gone so that don't bother me too much uh, yeah our harvester is just about full again so that means we're up to somewhere around 30,000 liters of soybean which uh, you know 60,000 liters would be great because for the price they want for it uh, that'd be getting us pretty darn close to 600 grand for our bank account, which is what we need. Um, but like I said, we got that milk we could be selling. Uh, I'm going to check the price on it before I head to bed tonight and see what it's doing. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to I'm going to try to sneak, be sneaky about it, and maybe the price will go up. I've seen that, seen it done before. Uh, maybe when we wake up, it'll be, you know, over fifteen hundred dollars. I don't know. We shall see. Uh, yes, my harvester is full. I just want to finish up this little part right in here. And the reason I also thought about liming this field now is because the field that we're harvesting at the moment needs lime as well. And I didn't feel like liming two fields in a row. Although it doesn't take that long because this hasn't taken me long at all. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to the harvester, take care of him. Then I'm going to finish liming up this field here. Yeah, more work to be done. Harvesting in the evening hours. Any farming work in the evening hours can be a little difficult because obviously you can't see as far. And, uh, well, it could be fun running into who knows what in the dark. The lights at the sheds don't help us out too much over here. But the lights are working well enough on the farming equipment to give me an idea where we are. But uh, you're probably saying, well, during the daytime, Peanut, you usually run into things anyway, so what does it matter, daytime or nighttime? And you know what? You'd be correct. I don't think I can squeeze this into one header pass, especially at the bottom. That looks too wide. Uh, come on, sneak all in there. Almost. Almost. Not too bad. I have no idea how many liters I got out of here because I took over harvesting a while ago. And anytime I got up near where the trailer is, I was like, oh, I'll unload it. I'm two-thirds full. So I really don't know how much I got in here. Uh, but I think we're going to be fine getting up to $600,000 before we head back to the Northwest. Uh, one, I should have enough to get as close to the 600000 And plus, we're going to make some money from the BGA. Because I sold some slurry and manure today. And of course, we got our greenhouses, orchards, slash rabbit pens. Uh, that'll make us money overnight here. Uh, while this is unloading, let's go in here. Is it still 1448? Still 1448. Um, turn the lights off on the harvester. Uh, I'll leave the engine running because I don't think the... If I turn the engine off, it'll still unload, but 
it shouldn't in real life, I don't think. There we go. Yeah, we'll leave the harvester in the field overnight because we can. Well, I'll start the engine. Uh, so just shy of 55,000 liters. One, two, three, four. Give me some lights here. Cover up our grains so it doesn't fly out. And head on over to the garden center. Uh, if I can find where I need to be. There we go. Yeah, it's it's into the evening hours, but not dark enough to where, where the moon's taken over either. It's a nice clear, well, kind of a clear night. Forecast is cloudy, but it doesn't look that cloudy. Uh, yeah, the traffic on here can be really a nuisance lately because the traffic is all kind of clumped together. So sometimes you come out, there's not a car in sight. And then other times you come out, it's like, uh, I just need to fight my way in here somehow. Some way, somehow. But to the garden center we go with our soybeans. Oh, I was like, what the heck was that? I ran into the car in front of me. That's what that is. Um, yeah. I got insurance. We're good. I think he was brake checking me anyways. Alright, well we were here before with the eggs. Let's go ahead and uncover the grain. So, somewhere around $50,000, I would assume, is what we'll get. Survey says 50551 Uh Yeah, so just a little bit shy of 600000 but uh, we're there. We are there. We will have enough cash to buy a field on the Pacific Northwest when we arrive. Uh, my flight is tomorrow afternoon, so... Um, I got a little more work here to do in the morning before I can head to the airport. Uh, take a snooze on the plane. And then I have some ideas when I get to the northwest. I need to uh, hopefully cut down some trees around the log cabin. Um, yeah, future plans here. Uh, I think I will park the trailer in the shed for the evening. Just in case it decides to rain. We'll unhitch the truck even. Uh, that's not... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not quite where it needs to be. Back up. There we go. Uh, turn that off. Turn the lights off. Uh, no sense... I mean, I can keep checking this milk price all I want, but still 1448 We'll see what it is in the morning. Um, now that I know I got our 600000 I'm not too concerned about selling the milk. Uh, like I said, that price is not bad, but we've seen it over $1,500. And one time, I think I saw it like $1,650 one time. Uh, 9 o'clock in the evening, so we're going to sleep 10 hours. So it'll be somewhere just shy of 7 a.m. Yeah, uh, 20,000 20, from the biogas, 16600 for property income. We're up to $632,000. Uh, is the great demand for milk still going? Still fourteen forty eight. Uh, didn't climb to my liking, so I think we're just going to hold off into it. Because, like I said, I got the cash. Uh, I just think when we come back next week, we're going to have um, these sunflowers over here. How are they doing? Good. They're they're just about ready to uh, one more stage, and uh, they'll be ready for harvest. Uh, just for curiosity, <laughs> I, I shouldn't look at this now because it could make me mad. Uh, yeah, so right now the price is, I think Windmill Hill gets up to 1100 So that might be at the right time when it comes time for harvest. Hopefully that price will go up. Uh, but what I need to do is uh, not stay over here. Um, we're going to hop into the T8, which should be this guy. There we go. We're going to go over and grab our seed drill. Get a headland done on the field over here that we just put some lime down in. And um, I, I don't know what I should be putting in here. Hmm. You know what? We're, we're going to put corn down. 
It, it kind of sucks and we'll have to plow afterwards, but this field hasn't been plowed in a while. And I know we're going up now to do some chaff on the corn. But I'm not going to replant corn in that field again. Uh, at least not next time. Unless I see something here. Yeah, I think I think I'll just go with... Uh, Yep, we're going to go with corn. That's what we're going to do. So let me get a headland done here. And what I'm going to do is I'll meet you up at the um, the other cornfield. We'll have our masher or forage harvester ready to go. I'll have the Volvo truck up there with a trailer. And uh, we'll do a time lapse of cutting up some corn into some chaff. And then we'll go ahead and compact it up and uh, wrap up the episode. And finally, here we are. Uh, this job I've been putting off for a while. I keep thinking, I'll get to it this episode. And it's like, well, it's not that important. But uh, it's getting to be... Like I said, we're going to take 600 grand out of here and transfer it to Pacific Northwest Fund. So it'll leave me somewhere around $34,000. And I'm thinking, do I? when do I buy the cows? I can buy the cows. I don't know how many cows I can buy with uh, 30000 are they 5,000 a piece or 2,000? I, I, I'm getting so mixed up with seasons and uh, different maps and different mobs. Mobs? Yeah, mobs are terrible. Uh, different mods to know how much cows uh, go for at this point. But, uh, yeah, I think, it's, I think I said I want to buy 40 cows, which if they're 5,000 a piece... That's a lot of cash. I know, I think I said before, it's, oh, that's 100,000. I can't do math. Uh, obviously, um, 40 cows at 5,000, we're talking almost $200,000 worth. Well, it's not almost $200,000. It is $200,000 worth. So, yeah, the, T, uh, the TA is down there planting some corn as we're chewing it up. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting to come up here next time and plow it. Um, I, I don't know why, but I feel like it says it's going to tell me it's going to need lime. You watch. It's going to be like, yeah, I need lime, dude. Uh, let me come up here and empty into into you, please. I know I don't have access to the land. I just want to empty up my uh, my harvester. Let's go in here. Uh, needs to be plowed does not need lime so we'll just have to plow it and I was fighting with myself what to do which I, you know I keep thinking I'll just put, keep, keep doing corn and we'll do chaff uh, but I'm thinking no it's going to be sugar beet is what we're going to do just to mix it up up here put a different crop in because I remember on Ravenport we were keeping track how much I got off that field I was doing for chaff and it seemed like after about four times doing corn chaff corn with chaff my yield production kept going down little by little I don't I don't think crop rotation is a thing in the base game uh, if it is um, I mean it's like hello surprise uh, so I think this is my third I mean I think that yeah this is the third time we've done corn chaff of it here or is it the fourth? I don't. I don't remember now. I mean, obviously, I got two fields in that one silo already, and this would be the third one going into that silo. But I think I may have put one into the furthest silo that already is silage. If that makes any sense. Uh, if not, then uh, just let me keep talking to myself because that's what I do best. So I know I said I'm going to do a time lapse here, but I'm just rambling on. Uh, plus, I got to get a headland done down here for this guy I want to do a headland send off on a worker then uh, I'll be doing the transporting which is not far I mean the BGA is right there that's why we bought this field so you know it'll be, it'll be a quick turnover for me just fill up the trailer go across dump it in while our Rasta mash is you know slowly filling up with a 60,000 liter capacity it usually works out well.
Alright, one more headland down here. Set him off on a worker. Then the rest of my job will be sitting in the Volvo truck doing some transporting. More likely, he is going to have to stop because uh, he's going to fill up and he is not going to be able to do a complete unload on my trailer. All right, you should be good enough to go, dude. Let me leave you some extra... Now, if I line you up right, actually, you do it all in one pass. So hopefully this works. So, time lapse, here we come. Well, there's our 1.4 million liters of chaff and a little extra to go along with it. Not too bad. I'm not going to worry about that little piece that's, uh, well, you can kind of see it in the field right over that telephone pole. Uh, not going to worry too much about that at all. Um, right now, I'm going to leave the truck here. So, yeah, sugar beet to go in that field later on. How did our T8 do? Not too bad. Always have a little problem with the tree, but, uh, you know, I left it there for a reason. To be a nuisance and to make it, you know, I, I mean, then we couldn't call it the tree field now, could we? So, I think what I'll do is I'm going to grab the Dutes fire and bring that up to the BGA and let him compact that chaff. And then uh, we'll cover that up. And then by the time we come back next week, uh, we should have well, the 1.4 million liters of silage to deal with. There we go. All looks good. Uh, I got one tiny little piece here. We'll, we'll take care of that. Uh, and of course, we got some corn here. Uh, that's the wrong button. Fold that up. I'm actually thinking about taking down this hedge right here. Um, I'm not sure if I want to yet or not, but, uh, for now it'll stay up. Obviously we done more than enough work. And like I said, I got a flight in the afternoon here and it's already 10 o'clock. So I got to do a couple things here before I, I head on off to the airport. Uh, luckily the airport's not too far from here. So I can finish up some work here. Uh, let me just check on that milk price. Is it still 1448 or is that over with? No, staying steady at 14.48. Uh, that's not budging. And you know what? I'm not going to budge either. Nope, not going to do it. Uh, we got more than enough cash. Uh, but before we call it an episode, because I, I really can't remember um, on this map what they go for. Animal dealership. Uh, we come to here. Uh, start. Oh, so they're only at 2,500. So yeah, if I buy 40... That's going to be, uh, yeah, that should be $100,000, right? Yes, yes. Um, yeah, so I only need $100,000 to buy 40 more cows is what we can do. Uh, that's not going to be a problem. That that sounds a lot better than before when I said, yeah, 40 cows, 200,000. I'm like, yeah, maybe I better not buy f that many cows. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll buy some 40 cows when we get our next uh, good amount of cash for income. 
uh, which is not going to be too hard seeing that we're going to be left with uh, right now 38000 in a bank account because I'm taking 600 of it to the Pacific Northwest to buy some land, like I said many times before. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, I'm going to head on up with these nice balloon tires on this Dutes Fire, which probably should be heavier than the T8, I think. So it should compact a little bit quicker and uh, get that covered up. And then I'm going to head to the house, grab my luggage, head to the airport. Uh, but like I said, that's going to do it for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time on Mercury Farms. But until then, have a good one.